This is McFly Angler. starts now. To start, we will need a nymph hook like these barbless 9231s from Risen Fly. And we will also need a bead. And these Risen brass beads in 3.2 millimeter size will work great. The easiest way to put the bead on your hook is to keep the bead in the palm of your hand and bring the hook to it. Now that the bead is on your hook, place your hook securely in your vise. For thread, I'm using this Viva 6 aught in brown. Start your thread right behind the bead and snip or snap off the waist. Now build a thread dam behind the bead to secure it and keep it from moving around. Once the bead is secure, then bring your thread back to the bend of the hook, and then wrap back up a wrap or two until you are right behind the start of the hook bend. Now we need some rabbit fur for the tail, and this natural hair's mask will work great. Just clip off a section down by the forehead where the fur is darker. and then pinch the tip of the fur and comb out the under fur. Using just your fingers here is fine, but you could get a comb to do it as well. Make sure to save the under fur as we will be using it as dubbing on this fly later on. Measure out about a hook gap length of the tail off the back of the hook bend, and then transfer that measurement to your other hand and tie it in with some tight wraps. Now we need some tinsel. This medium sized pearl tinsel from UTC will work great. Snip off a piece about this long, which should make about two to three of these flies. Tie in the tinsel at the back of the hook down to the start of the tail. I find it helps to use some small hair clips, by the way, I stole these from my daughter, to clip the tinsel back and out of the way. Now we need some dubbing. And while you could use other dubbing here, I really like this Aussie Possum dubbing, which I got from the last fly I tied on camera. Now that fly is called the Rio Bandito, and you're left with lots of excess dubbing from it. It's the perfect color for this fly, so let's use it. Dub some onto your thread with a thin noodle at first, but taper it a bit thicker towards the back of the noodle. Then start wrapping the noodle up the hook shank with touching wraps and ensure to build a bit of a taper as well. Stop about halfway up the shank. Now with open spiral wraps, start wrapping the tinsel up the hook shank to create a ribbing. When you reach the thread, capture it and cut off the waist. Note that if the tinsel jumps out of place like it did here, just adjust it and retie it in. Now for the legs. These centipede legs from Montana Fly Company will work perfectly. The medium sized and speckled clear tan is what I'm using today. Just cut off one leg and cut it in half as we will only need half of this size. This will make two flies. Fold one of the leg pieces in half and then tie it in at the top of the hook shank with two wraps, right in the middle of the folded legs. Then cut the loop to make two separate pieces. Now you can adjust the legs so they sit on either side of the hook shank like so. This can be tricky though, but just keep working at it until you're happy with how they sit. Now wrap back to the dubbing body and back up just shy of the bead, keeping the legs positioned on either side of the fly like so. Now let's grab some of the rabbit under fur and use it as dubbing. Dub a thick noodle onto your thread, then wrap behind the legs, in between them, and in front of them as well. You do want to build up a rather thick abdomen here, so make sure this is dubbed on rather thickly. You can always add more dubbing as well if you need. Now you can whip finish the fly. I actually do two whip finishes here with multiple wraps to ensure it won't come undone. Trim the legs to your desired length. You could leave them long if you desire though, it's up to you. If you want to cement the head, I really like this Loon water-based head cement for flies with dubbing near the whip finish. The paintbrush applicator makes it easy and it will soak into the thread and dubbing. 
and it will turn perfectly clear in just a minute or two. And there we have it, a finished leggy nymph. These are fairly easy and quick to tie, and should be really effective on a wide range of fish species, from trout to sunfish and even bass and more. As you all know, I have gotten you all discounts from both www.risenfly.com and www.dooliesflyfishing.com. Dooley's offers great prices on all of the name brand fly tying materials, and Risen Fly manufactures their own hooks, rods, reels, and other gear for fly fishing. Their products are top quality, and best of all, they are priced very reasonably. Not only are the prices at these two shops great, but like I said, they are offering all of my subscribers a discount. So use McFly at checkout when ordering from either of these shops, and you will get an additional 15% off of their already great prices. I want to also thank all of my Patreons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel, and also get some great perks like early access to my videos, participate in live streams, and more. So go to www.patreon.com forward slash angler to sign up today. I also thank all of you who share all my videos with your friends and your continued support by hitting the like buttons and subscribing. Thank you for making these videos possible. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.